the sun is out and um, I know I said I was inspired um, by doing it maybe in the rain but I've just this morning with the sunrise and the mist and everything I just feel like getting out and normally do things when little Blakey's asleep <laughs> yeah uh, so we'll see how this goes but I'm gonna try and record um, and I've got some activities for him let's see how we go to start um, this is my studio door and we're having a bit of work done as you can see but as I've been walking past it gives amazing textures on the ground and um, so I've brought my piece of artwork out onto the rough uh, ground and I've set up a little area for Blake who knows how that's gonna go and um, yep and I will show you in a minute the underneath and we'll get going so first things first Blake's got his water, bubble wrap, crayons, paintbrush. Whoopsies! <laughs> uh, let's see how this goes. So underneath my artwork is quite a rough surface. And this is what I did with the stag um, piece. So if I set this up. Right, so. Again, I've got some, a small amount of bleach, just like I did with the stag. And spray that on. Um. So you can see the textures of the bubble wrap slightly coming out here. I quite like that. Oh, are you having fun? Yay! Mm -hmm. So I put some um, bleach on here and I'm just taking out. You can see the textures that come off. Okay, so like I said, I've bleached this area. I've also added some bubble The best thing about being outside and doing things like this is, I know, you never know what it's gonna turn out like. Um, but you get messy, but using the earth underneath, because look, it's just like so many textures and there's all the stones and the leaves around. So it means that I can press my leaves in and let's uh, press those into some of the bleach, use some stones. Because last time I managed to get some good textures using stones and see how it takes away with the bleach and you get that those textures actually that's be quite good for the uh, for the feathers might have a go at that now right okay so we put the bleach on yeah that brings it off nicely Just adding some the paint and to go over the bleach and I'm still not sure about the background and the background colour so I do love this scrapey bit <laughs> oh he knew bleach stones and a rough surface just gives out so many patterns. Like a piece of uh, bubble wrap. Yeah, that's giving it some quite nice texture actually. <clears throat> yep, so when you bleach it, And you can see it's taking away the paint. It's 
and where there's like, let me see if I can zoom in a bit. I'll bring the camera down. Where there's um, bumps, there's a big bump here under this canvas in here. So where there's bumps, and I've put the bleach, if you go over the bumps, it takes off the paint, the chalk, the oil, Whoa, the wind. All right, it all adds to it. <laughs> and um, you can kind of then draw using stone stones and then you can see the effect that it's given along the top there and it just gives it a rusticky feel and outlines it's just a different effect and I'm quite liking um, the bubble wrap effect for down here for like the bushes a bit of gold and white and green so I might carry that on okay so the technique is bleach, the oil, the paints, the ink, the chalk that I've used. Use the rough surface that's underneath. You can see loads of stones. Find some stones from uh, around. I mean, I've got this big one here. Let's see. Uh, yep. That does a different kind of effect. I know it's crazy. <laughs> I know it's as if I'm ruining it, but it just adds something different. All right, let's try. Up this bit here. Let's see. I think I prefer using a smaller one because you've got more control over it. Gonna go over here. And then what I can do is, when I take it back in the studio, I can um, add more colours to it. I really like the way that that has, gives it uh, the effect on that wood. It's quite cool. <laughs> and that's taking off quite a lot there, but it's kind of, is it the light shining on it? Oh, I like that. stab it away. You can see how that's being revealed after the bleach. You have to be quite tough with this actually for it to use underneath and to get the effect. I do really think it works. I don't know what anyone else's opinion is. But my artwork is all about experimenting. I do all sorts of artwork, obviously. But when it comes to building my portfolio, this, this is my area. Experimental, messy artwork. So, yep, carrying on. This is the work so far.